Hi guys. Feeling a little bit pissed off at the minute. All down to some bitch on Facebook, but I've blocked her now, so problem solved. Because uh, don't care what anyone says, she's a bully to me. Granted, I have a little moan on these groups and whatnot, you know. This is on the Regenerate North Walsham group, by the way. But who doesn't have a dig in a little, you know, dig and moan about things about their own town every now and again? But what gets me is, it's the same people every time that has a dig at me for having a moan, even though every fucker on the group has a moan and a dig every now and again. But no, it's me. And I proved a point the other day. I made a post, a positive post, about the new little, well, the cleaned up eyesore that was in town. It's all been nicely paved, a couple of lime trees and a few um, street lights put in. It does look nice. So I put a, pos a positive post up saying it looks like the area is nearly finished. Not one like, not one comment, nothing from anyone on the group. But as soon as I have a little dig, and this is the point that I keep trying to make, as soon as I do have a little dig, everyone's on my case, well, not everyone, the same handful of people are on my case. It's like I'm not allowed to have a little moan, but everyone else is, and that's, that's what pisses me off. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, I didn't actually make, well, I tried to make a video yesterday, but I was in a bit of a grump most of the evening, so it didn't really come out that well. Sorry, Nemo, I'm going to have to boot you off. Oh, bless him. Well, actually, I'll sit here another minute or two. Uh, I went to Mum's today because I needed to bring a bike back. Because I need some cash. <laughs> uh, could have some cash if I could get two bikes over to Cat's Custom Trikes. But as I don't drive, that's highly dependent on Mum. <laughs> on my taxi. Uh, anyway, I actually bought two bikes back. One. That I've just got to finish off. I did some work on it while I was at Mum's today. I've just got to finish it off. I had to change the forks because I can actually show you on this one. I've got a nice Falcon suspension bike here. It needs a. It just needs a bit of tarting up. I think I might keep it. I think I might keep this one. I know it's nothing special. You know, it's not a super duper quality um, bike, but it's not the worst deal, you know, it's got half decent, or well, it was fitted with half decent grip shifts, you know, they've faded now. I do have another pair I'm going to put on. It's got V-brakes, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I'll just have to get it in working order and uh, take it for a ride. That's all down to if I like how they ride. Anyway, I've got a black well, it was a solid frame mountain bike, no suspension. Uh, it's now got front suspension forks because I took them out of a parts bike. Because at the top here, where this lock nut is, you couldn't put it on the old forks. There was like a bit of rubber clamped on with a hose clamp to keep the brake, the bracket for the brake cable on because it had cantilever brakes. It's now going to get V brakes. Uh, but it was all snapped off. It was level with the um, bearing cone, which is this here. So I had to put more forks in because I couldn't set it as it was. You know, with this horrible, ugly-looking chunk of rubber wrapped around the stem. So, uh, yeah, I had to swap the forks in it. Uh, I could have put V-brakes on it and uh, just did away with the... Uh, bracket that holds the brake cable for the cantilever brakes but 
I would have then had this ugly looking snapped piece of fork at the top there so I had the forks there so I swapped them so all I've got to do is put a new left pedal on because I took that off at mum's as well right one's fine it's just the left one I'm pretty certain I've got one that'll match near enough if it doesn't match exactly uh, connect up the brakes and that's it oh and change the tyres because it's got two bald tyres but I bought some tyres with me this tyre's not brilliant there is some tread there but it's not brilliant so I'll uh, I think someone might have been skidding on that because that's like a bald patch because the rest of the tyre isn't too bad <laughs> I'll change it anyway because that's not a lot of good but yeah, with this one I'm going to change the grip shifts at least. Possibly the handlebar grips, but I forgot them. <laughs> I have got another decent pair actually at Mum's. You know, I was going to change them because of that, but I may not need to. Uh, but I bought the parts out. I've got a brand new rear gear cable if I need it. I've got a brand new brake cable if I need it. Uh, I may not. I'm hoping the cables are still connected to the grip shifts in here. Oh, along with my coke, will fit. Now, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing tomorrow. It's pretty much down to stepdad. He asked today if I want to come over so he can have a hand to get the uh, bench up in the workshop. He's got a bench he wants to put up. Uh, even dirt on this lens. I might have to get some sort of special wipes or something to keep it clean. Here we go. These are the grip shifts I'm going to put on. These came off the parts bike as well. What's this one? This one's the left. I'm just hoping the cable will reach. That's what I'm hoping for. There's the left. They just look better to me than them ones. There's nothing wrong with these ones. They work. Well, they probably will work when I, um, I sort the cables out. I will need a new one as it stands if I use these ones, but... Nah. Stick those on. I've got one more in here. I've got a mud guard as well. The rear one is still on the bike, which I've got locked out front. But I might put these. I might either put it back on the bike or put it on the rally. Duh. Pardon me. My um, rally max, the green one. I don't know. I haven't decided. That's my medication because I forgot tomorrow's Good Friday and the chemist won't be open. So we had to swing in tonight on my way home to uh, pick them up. Otherwise, I would have been up shit street because I wouldn't have had any pills till Saturday. I've got no glycoside left and no antidepressants left so that would not have been good. <laughs> Here we go, it's the right one. Oh, bollocks, the end is frayed. I should have put a bit of tape or something around it. But, uh, I will just do a rough line up with the cables later and see if I've got enough here. Well, I think I might be able to change the gear cable on this. And these are the ones that pop out of this hole. I don't know, there's a little thing covered there and some of these have a little hole in there that you can poke the gear cable through. A bit like these ones. It's actually weird how these ones work. Um, you put the gear cable through there then there's like another little piece of cable that connects to a ro rotating disc here into this bit so when you twist this bit it pulls on the disc and pulls on the gear cable there's a bit slightly different design of those as well I don't think I've got much else in here, I think it's just uh, another couple of cables ah. got to change the brake levers of course on the um, bike outside the black Lenutti I think that's how you pronounce it because uh, it's got brake levers for um, cantilever brakes which means the cable's in a different position 
where you've got this here on this lever on brake levers for cantilevers the cable goes in here where my fingers moving not there so uh, I could use them but it means the brakes are going to be incredibly spongy and I hate that they would work but I personally hate that it's a horrible feeling so I'd rather do it properly if I'm going to do a job I'm going to do it properly so I've got these pair here chuck those on that bike tomorrow as well that's why I kept some cable I think I kept one cable actually yeah I might be able to reuse that one I hope Uh, the bike I've actually broken for parts, I'm going to keep the frame, because I may do a new paint job on the frame. Because There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but uh, as it stood, with all the paint, well the shitty paint job it's already got, it wasn't worth fixing up and, you know, putting back out there, so. But I thought, if I really want to do like a project in the future for myself, you know, build something up for myself, then I've got a frame there that I could uh, do my own paint job on and uh, um, have a nice little project, a bit like the giant frame I've got here. I do like to keep an odd couple of frames around for that reason, uh, although I might be able to sell that giant frame on eBay as it is actually. I've sold frames like that before. They don't usually go for a great deal, but I've got my fibers worth of. Hang on a minute. Is that better? That's a bit better. There's a spot right in the middle of the lens, and that's pissing me off. <laughs> uh, well, one thing I did do yesterday, turn the light on in here, is uh, I was playing computers. As you know, that computer I got off my friend, I think I mentioned it before, yeah I mentioned I was getting one, well I got it and uh, I decided as this originally came with Windows XP, I had Windows 7 installed which was an illegal copy, uh, it's got a Windows XP professional sticker on it. So I decided I was going to use IDE hard drives and an SATA ROM drive, optical drive, but uh, the machine wouldn't acknowledge there was a um, slave IDE drive connected. And I tried several IDE hard drives and it just wouldn't have it. So what I did, I put the original 80 gigabyte SATA hard drive back in, which is this one. And I had a 350 gigabyte hard drive, SATA, that was kicking around. So I threw that in as this um, storage drive, I suppose. And just installed XP. Two gigabytes of RAM. I don't know if that's the max this can take. But uh, it's there. <laughs> um, I did try another memory card with that and it threw a right wobbly at me, so... I'm guessing two gigabytes is probably the max, unless I put two different ratings of cards in there, which I might well have done without realising. Um, I googled the model, which is an HP Compaq DX2200 Micro Tower, and found the drivers straight away. <laughs> so it is a fully working XP machine, and it will be put in the bedroom as the um, Windows XP gaming desktop PC uh, that I can play my games on. I don't think I need anything u uber good in there for the games I've got anyway. I don't know. I haven't really looked at the specs. Threw a USB PCI card in there just for the well, sheer hell of it really, just because I could. <laughs> I got that video card, but I've got a problem. One, it's rather on the large side. Two, I need a six pin power connector and I don't have an adapter. And this power supply, being only a 250 watt power supply, doesn't have 
a three pin connector. And like I said, I don't have a three pin adapter for it. And it is a bit long, but I can wiggle this in here. I'm not sure it's a good idea, to be perfectly honest, but it will go in, you see. I could wiggle it in there just. It. So if I changed the power supply for one of my 500 watt ones, which I don't really want to do, I could get this to work, because then 500 watt ones have both got the three pit or the six pin power connector I need. But I think that is actually way too big for this case anyway, uh, to be perfectly honest. And what is ticking me off, this NVIDIA did work, now it doesn't want to work. But that's the only other suitable bloody video card I've got. That's um, PCIe anyway. I've got plenty of AGP, and I do have, which I could try. Dumbass, I've left that in the middle of the floor. Got that one there, but that's for, you know, the small form factor PCs, because it's got that little thing, and it's got HDMI as well. It's an MSI, so it's probably a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I don't know, I've never used it. Oh, it's actually powered by NVIDIA. Well, I could take that off, that metal thing off, and just see if it does work. But I don't have a longer one of these to put on this, I don't think. I have got a box full somewhere. Well, not a box full, but a box that contains them. I don't know, it might be in that box. These shouldn't be in there. They should be in that box. Well, actually, as I need a bigger box for these cables, I think I may swap them. So, that's something we can do, isn't it? And this video will be seen the same day I record it, because I'm recording it on a Thursday evening. So, as soon as I'm... As soon as I'm done making the noise, and done making the video, I'll uh, get this on the PC and get it uploaded. I've got these little cables in here because that lot will go in that little box there easy, wouldn't it? It's just this one's starting to overflow. It's just my box of uh, LEDs, power switches, SATA cables, and other various ca connected cables in here. That's for a Dell Optiplex that I've got in the bedroom. The monitor is sitting on it. I can never remember the bloody model number of that PC. I'll go through that lot later. But that's what I wanted to do. So I've got that one free. Just stick all my I.O. plates in. I've no idea where all these come from. I've got more of these than motherboards, so... I must have uh, grabbed them off some... Uh, Computer cases, I expect. Some are for older motherboards, like this one. It's probably a Windows 98 motherboard or something. Only two USB ports. And going by the layout, it probably is. I may even have the board for that. My burps taste like chicken curry, because that's what I had for dinner. So I've got ones like this, but will they fit? Well, that is the question. Ah, so that's where all my blank plates went. Still going. There's one for Adele. You can soon tell from the coloured pattern on the back. Should have a couple, actually, I suppose. I only keep these because every now and again I get an odd motherboard and I might find one in there that goes with it. And I think I think um, all the motherboards I've got have one of these because uh, I did take them. Yeah, I did take all the motherboards I've got out of crappy cases. So I've got so many of the damn things. I've got some of these that I took off broken video cards. 
We've even got blank, blank plates for small towers, look. Or small computers. I knew I had more SATA cables somewhere. I'm just going to chuck these blanks in there so I've got a bit of room. A bit of the room. Now I'm mixing parts. Who cares? It's not a really short one. had butter fingers for the last few days and it's been pissing me off and all. Get off! I've separated my RDE cables. Those are all for hard drives and CD drives and then I've got floppy disk drives and whatnot in there and a few weird ones. I'm not sure what they are. For Pete's sake, there's another one. Getting hard to come across now, those sort of, um, you never know, they might be worth a bit of money. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you never know one day when people want to fix new, you know, old computers, because they will. And these will, can go bad and break, so that's probably a good thing. <laughs> right, I'm just going to sit you actually. Up here, I'm just going to turn my screen round. There we go. I've got a pair of pliers in here. No, I bloody haven't, have I? Anything I can use? Uh, for freak's sake, hang on. Toolbox is just down here. Let's have a look. Good job the toolbox was close, wasn't it? I don't even know. Don't, yeah, I don't actually know if this video card work. Ah, oh, shite. I'm going to need a DVI, DVI adapter. I had a load collected up the other day and I can't remember for the life of me what the bloody hell I've done with them. What one are they? They're the four. You know, the four. Uh, I don't really care what one it is. I'll go in, I'll do it with the friend. I'll just get this um, plate off and we'll go in the lounge and go and grab one. I'll get this bloody stand off off. Stand off off. Off off. I'm not going to chuck that yet. Right, plug it in. Rope. <laughs> The other thing I'm going to do, and I'll turn the camera off to do that, to test the slot I'm going to put a video card in there that I know works, because it could also be a folly slot. Right, the card is in, the GPU is in, because I've got another ATI in that one, I don't think it'll matter too much for a Windows XP machine. Uh, I just need VGA to DVI adapter. Here we go. I've actually got several of them around here because uh, they're cheap as chips. <laughs> Probably more so now because I think a lot of, especially gamers, have uh, upgraded to like H um, HDMI. I'm not a gamer so it doesn't bother me what the um, looks of the game is like. So long as I can play it. <laughs> right. That all goes in there. I'm going to make sure it's all plugged in nicely. Power on. I must have bet this works and I haven't got a bloody metal bracket thing to run it on. That ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Hmm. That really isn't good. Oh, shit. I haven't got a keyboard plugged in either. <laughs> How many bloody keyboards have I got in here? Here's one. Get the cable. one out at mum's because I've been playing with laptops with broken keyboards. Could use them with an external keyboard, there's just one problem. You need to use the keyboard to turn the Wi-Fi on. And because the onboard keyboards don't work, you can't turn the Wi-Fi on. So, uh, yeah. I get the feeling this video card might be, um, to put it bluntly, fucked. Because I've got this feeling that the um, actual chip itself has probably gone. Oof. So I'm just... <laughs> Oh dear, well it's installing drivers but uh, I've got this feeling that ain't going to help. No, it's not actually installing the drivers either. Shut down, I'm just about to see what I'm doing to do that. When the thing isn't interfering, there we go. Audio does work. I did install all the drivers. Okay, well that's answered that question, has that? I'm actually going to try this one again. I'm just going to check it. Because this is quite an old one. A friend of mine gave me this years ago. So it has been kicking around, so... I probably shouldn't be surprised that it doesn't work. Oh, I've got a securing screw missing. That probably doesn't help. Oh, there isn't no way there to screw it to. Oh no, it isn't missing. There's a sticker over it. It's an 8500GT Sonic. PCIe, 256MB of DDR3, TV out, DVI, etc. <laughs> but I tried it with the VGA socket on there, so maybe. VGA has gone on it, not the DVI, possibly. <laughs> I don't know, I've got to take that off. Box, need a screwdriver. What's it doing? No. Yeah, so I'm not actually sure what I'm doing tomorrow. I really wish I could drive. Because then I could drive over to Cats and not have to rely on anything. I hope she don't mind me using her now. I apologise if, um, if um, it does bother you. And, uh, I'm sure she'll let me know on uh, Facebook. Can you stop using my name? Right. I think if it really did bother her she'd let me know. But, uh, like I said, I can stop if she wants me to. See if it works through DVI on this one. Please work. Not looking good. <laughs> Not looking good at all. Now I've got this video card in and believe it or not it's not even trying to boot. 
So there's a problem with that one. I think I'm just going to throw it in the bin. I was just looking at this MSI one. And I'm doubting it's a capacitor problem because they look absolutely fine. And the way it's behaving, I would have said it was a GPU issue anyway. There's nothing in there. Nope. <laughs> Definitely no. Definite no. I was hoping I could get one of these if it worked to go over the um or line up with the um HDMI socket, but that ain't gonna happen. <sighs> Soldier. I'm not keeping crap that don't work. I was going to throw the wrong one in the bin. I know the uh, big ATI there works. Can't, can't see any dodgy capacitors on this either. There's no socket for uh, an external power supply. It looks like there's one for a fan that you could put on this maybe. Oh well. Bin it. Don't work. And you're probably wondering, as I've got one in the Windows 7 PC in the lounge, why I don't use that one, as I'm more likely to use this. Uh, I might do that and use the onboard graphics. But, as it's got DVI out as well, I could use that. Um, but either way, if I wanted a video card and that, I'm going to have to buy a new video card anyway. So, whichever way I did it, or do it, I'm going to need to buy one. I did plug it in, didn't I? Yeah. F9 boot menu, F10 setup, F12 boot from LAN. No, I won't do any of that. It's actually a shame because um, that would work well with XP. But there's no drivers for um, Windows 7, so there's no point in me putting this one in the Windows 7 machine. <laughs> oh, pardon me. What have I got here? Another bloody floppy drive for a laptop. And an IDE CD drive. The sound's not working because I've turned the um, speakers off. But as you can see, it works. Works a treat, actually. I might just uh, Google this machine again just to see what the specs are to see if I can upgrade the memory. Because I've got... I have a 256 gigabyte of DDR2 there. Uh, I've got two more sticks here and I haven't got a clue what they are. I think that these are 512, I think they are the DDR2. Got another one here, which is unknown. There is no sticker on it, there's a warranty sticker. Warranty void if label removed, but I don't actually know what it is. This is the one I put in when it threw a uh, absolute hissy fit at me. <laughs> it did not like me putting that one in with the two gigabyte stick. At all. <laughs> so I figured best not to do it again. What the hell is in this box? More K. Ooh! I could put it in if I really wanted to. I've just found an adapter. But I've then got to think, would that power supply be man enough? I may have to put a, front, a fan on the front as well. Um, I do have like 350 watt power supply, so I could uprate it if I wanted to. I think I've got some um, sort of standardy Molex 
and SATA power supplies in there or power supplies with those connectors on because this one's got one cable with Molex on and one cable with SATA on oh this is more laptop for home oh. I'm guessing that was a fan connector I could still use it, I can still butcher a thing on the end of it righty ho then well if it works and I can get a fan in the front as well just to help cool that down this is got a fan on it I will um before I put this in there I will just uh hell that needs two Molex connectors Jesus this is a thirsty puppy isn't it not sure I'd want that in there. <laughs> I sort of got it and it's doing nothing. I might as well try to put it in there, but I have to go through power supplies then. So I think something like 350, maybe 400 watts should be sufficient for that. I'm not going to use any special peripherals on this, you know, no printers or anything, so. I don't think I'm going to need anything better. But yeah, it does purr like a little kitten when it's running. I did only build it to play the games that I've got through there. I, haven't got, I don't think I've got anything that's going to be system hungry. But like I said, I don't think <laughs> I might. <laughs> oh, pardon me. It's a bit windy poo tonight. There's nothing new there, is there? Right. I haven't had my evening diabetic pills. I'm going to have to do that. Um, well, hopefully, in tomorrow's video, there'll be a big-ass ATI radio on in there. I can't even remember what specs is this thing. Two hundred fifty-six megabytes of memory on it, I think. But uh, yeah, this came with my Windows Seven PC when I bought it new, the one that I'm currently using, which is now Windows Ten. <laughs> Unfortunately, actually, it hasn't been that bad for me. But then again, I don't have an ATI video card in it. Well, <laughs> I've got Nvidia. They seem to work rather well. Really, have I been going on that long? Thirty-seven minutes. Anywho. Good job that was an old case. Um, letting off the wind again. Um, perhaps I should have checked this before uh, I got it back. As uh, mistakes do get made, not often, but they used to make a lot of mistakes when Mum was under them. Hang on. Two packets of glitter aside, that's good. Yeah, it's complete. Here's my fluxetine. And I do believe I've still got a tray of these left, so I don't need to open those yet. Ooh, I've got Chuggy Biggie left. Ooh, gonna have to munch on that. <sighs> so. <sighs> I won't ring Mum in the morning anyway. I hope, I hope um, somewhere is open tomorrow, like Sainsbury's or Little. I know the garage will be. Well, that part of the brakes still work. <laughs> you know, I was going to change the brake levers because I didn't like these adjusters, but then I thought, meh, them brake levers look okay. It's just the... Um, Maybe if that one hadn't faded out as much, I'd have probably left them, but ooh. I mean, it does technically function. <laughs> technically. But yeah, you can see those cables. Rusty! 
I'll just snip through them and replace them. Knew I needed to bring a seat for something. Numb nuts. Oh well. I doubt I'll probably end up selling this anyway at some point. I usually do. I like the bike. Ride it a few times. Don't like it no more. And just change it. That's not too bad a nick to be honest. Not perfect. It'll clean up. Better than the fucking turd I've got out the front there. <laughs> The blue and yellow one. Oh, anyway, I'm going to disappear. Uh, just chill out for the rest of the night, I think. I don't know if I'll do anything to the PC tonight, but uh, I might actually just have a look and see if I've got a, a bit better power supply in there with some more power connectors. That would be a bonus. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.